I'm a rogue about town, 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 I'm a rogue about town. With a punch on for an apple. I take myself in the garden, as I do, as I do, only after ten o'clock at night. I climb trees and I steal apples, or at least walk to Martin Dibley's bathroom window and give him a fright. Because he deserves it. Well, one night I was in Mrs. Rich's garden. You don't know her, we know her. Oh, she's important. She's got the best apples. And I know she's climbed up there herself and injected one of those apples with some poison. Intended for the local Labour Party, or at least the Tories, of which I'm neither. I've always voted green. What a waste of your vote, but I have. <laughs> I think she's put the poison in the green apple. <laughs> so I got over her back fence. That's not euphemism. I got onto the garden path, and neither is that. And I avoided the verges that could have been. <laughs> It was quite easy to get up to the first branch because it was thick. The second one was quite thick but a little bit thinner. And once I got up to the fourth and the fifth where the little apples were, we're getting pretty thin. And that's when I felt really top of the world. Well, I had myself big pockets. I could have taken four or five apples in each one and just gotten out of there, but no! I had to wait. Because the bathroom light had gone on. <laughs> well, it's frosted, so that was a waste of time. <laughs> but then I saw Martin Dibley pull up. On his tricycle. And then he went. With a folder and a pen. I thought there's clandestine meetings going on here tonight and I'm going to find out about them so I can report back to my friends. That's when the branch broke. That's when I went down. I went down at least four feet. Because I wasn't that high anyway. And then I broke my ankle. That's how I did it. Yeah.